the Google Search Console shows you keywords for which your site already has a ranking. Sort the results by the average position and look for first page, second page, etc. Piling to see different types of proposals that are already conceptually relevant to your site. You can also use the search panel to review estimates of the search volume and keyword planner. If a search contains hundreds or even thousands of terms, the list of suggestions you review is easy to understand. In fact, the keyword planner may not display all the keywords in its database. The keyword planner limits the maximum number of suggestions returned when trying to provide a rich set of terms related to your search. The more specific your search becomes, the more data can be revealed. It gives you the opportunity not only to research but also to analyze a variety of keyword lists. In other words, Keyword Planner was designed specifically as a paid search tool. His data, however, has proven to be extremely useful for organic search engine optimization (SEO) purposes. Google Keyword Planner is clearly a powerful tool. I recommend including it in your keyword research workflow. But it has its limitations. The lack of accurate search volumes is a big. Fortunately, this can be remedied with other keyword research tools like Arefs Keywords Explorer. Such tools combine data from the Google Keyword Planner with clickstream data to provide accurate estimates of search volume and much more. We may be able to refine some of the data with clickstream data or get estimates by running Google AdWords campaigns and monitoring the number of impressions, or even look up the Google Search Console. But none of that is a strong substitute for the Google Keyword Planner. Look for margins where a keyword has a large number of spelling errors associated with the correct version, but not in the volume rating. So put on your gloves and start cleaning up your keyword planner data. You must first search for keywords to understand what people are actually looking for. Fortunately, Google has a free keyword research tool that lets you do just that, Google Keyword Planner, formerly Google Keyword Tool. Google Keyword Planner is getting a bad name, especially as Google has removed the ability to show the exact monthly search volume. You can get them back, but you'll need to run an AdWords campaign. Keyword research tools are the answer to which keywords you should prioritize. Accurate keyword planning can make the difference in your marketing campaigns. The AdWords Keyword Planner or the newly launched Google Ads Keyword Planner is a tool that lets you use SEO to market keyword ideas to your target audience. In AdWords, the most effective campaigns use ad groups that focus heavily on a few word and word combinations. If you use the organic research keyword planner, you can group the keywords according to a specific topic or keyword intent depending on what kind of keyword research you are doing. Keep in mind that the rules for PCC campaigns that show ads for specific keywords and specific campaigns must be very strict so that advertisers can control their spend accurately, as Google increasingly improves the interpretation of these various queries, you should focus on the topic and intent of grouping your keywords, not just exact phrases or words. Using the Keyword Planner you can create a list of keywords from multiple searches and save the results. Click here to add either the ad group or the specific keyword to your plan. Your plan is organized by ad groups. So, if you add an entire ad group from the search results, only the name of the group appears in the list, even though all terms have been added. When you add terms from the keyword ideas table, you'll need to create or select an ad group to add the keyword to. In this interface, we can review keyword and ad group suggestions, add the desired items to a keyword plan, and customize our search parameters. The first thing to notice is the two tabs under the search volume chart labeled Ad Group Ideas and Ideas for Keywords. Keyword ideas are used to create an unformatted list of suggestions along with their volume and bid data. Ideas 
for ad groups group these terms together to formulate aggregated metrics for the entire group both require that you already have a list of keywords that interest you these must either be entered manually or uploaded as a CSV file. As with keyword ideas, you can refine the results by adjusting various parameters. Unlike keyword ideas, the results returned are limited to the list of keywords and phrases you've entered or uploaded. Either the average search volume during the period you enter or the potential traffic, clicks and costs that could be generated by the keywords are highlighted filter keywords, you can narrow your keyword list by several criteria, such as, based on average CPC and average monthly search volume. You can also include or exclude keywords with specific terms and exclude keywords that are already in your AdWords account. Try these tips for the Google Keyword Planner to learn about phrases and broad matching queries. Google will soon combine the Keyword Tool and the Traffic Estimator into one new product, the Keyword Planner. Google will also add a new Keyword Merge feature that can wrap and combine keywords.